Hi, I'm Mike Rooney. Today's free art lesson is going to be on how to make a believable dappled shadow. And uh, as you see, I got my palette laid out here with the colors in a certain order. And I've got my uh, canvas toned orange. If you'd like to see how, old, uh, how to do all that stuff, go to my short video at, uh, at jerrysartorama.com. Look up Real Art Academy Starter Set, Mike Rooney, and you'll be able to find out how to do what I just did right here. Let's get started. What you do is, I'm going to take this painting that I did out near where I live on the coast, and I'm going to paint this shadow and show you how to make this dappled shadow believable, okay? Now, usually what happens, the reason they don't look believable in some cases is that it's just painted one color. Now, I did a video, a, a free art lesson on how to paint a cloud that's believable so if you want to see how to get varied color you can go to that video that free art lesson and see how to do that also so uh, I'll go over it briefly here uh, so so what we're going to do is start to draw the shadow out on the side of the building and I'll show you how to make it look something like a dappled shadow so we're going to take some red and some orange and make a color that's kind of similar to this to this canvas, this toned canvas. Just make sure it doesn't stand out too much, and that does. So we're going to take a little more red and a little more orange and just make it a little more orangey. There we go. All right, so we'll clean that off and we'll draw the building on there and the shadow. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so here's the thing that I'm taking it from. And I'm going to paint the side of the building on there. So there's the roof. There's that line. There's that line, and there's that line. Now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna focus on this shadow right here. So I'm gonna come under the eave, and I'm gonna block it in with this with this kind of real thin orangey mix, just so I know where the shadow is gonna be. Okay. So under the eave. All right. Now thing is, you're looking out there and the shadow is way more complex than you could ever paint. So simplify it. How do you simplify? You just look for the big shapes and make big shapes with just a few little shapes off to the side. So let's make the big shape first and then we'll make the ones off the side. So at, let's act like there's a piece, of a piece of a shadow coming down like this and then it goes across and then it makes a nice little shape like so. Now that's that's the thing to do is to make a pleasing shape up here. Forget about what's out there or what's in the photo because remember this, nature makes a really bad painting by itself so you have to design it a little bit. So I really don't like those three little islands right there so I'm going to get rid of that little, little island and change it just a bit. There we go. See now it doesn't look like three little islands. Now I'm going to paint that in just so I know that that's the shadow all this is going to be painted in. This is going to be in the light. Now you start with that big shape. Don't paint all the little ones you see on the photo or outside. All right. Now you're going to go in, like I said, go to the video uh, about painting a cloud and you'll see how I made these little satellite colors. But what I'm going to do is take blues and purples and very quickly make up a purple that goes in the shadow. All right, so there's the shadow of the building. It's a white building, so of course, probably, most likely, the shadow is going to be purple. All right, so let's change the shape and make it just a little more interesting. Now that's the main shape, all right? Now go into this pile and change it a little bit. Add a little gray to it. If I add a little gray to that color, I'll change the color somewhat. So I'll have a few different things going on. So now that to that one, I'm going to make it just a little more purple. A little darker and a little more purple. And that's the key to these shadows. The shadow is not the same color over here as it is over there. Now if you go outside and paint all the time outside like I do, you'll notice that shadows are darker and grayer in the recesses and they get lighter and warmer or bluer the farther to the edge that they get because they're getting more sunlight, I mean, uh, they're getting more skylight and it gets cooler. So what I'm going to do is add blue, tiny bit of yellow to warm that blue up, 
little bit of this uh, cerulean blue to make it much warmer. Now watch what happens when I put that warmer shadow color right there on the end, right at the edge, because that's where it's, that's where it's lighter and warmer, right on the edge. And already this shadow is starting to take on a real look, and I don't even have the white thin yet. So let's make it a little redder in some places. That's, that means warm. Let's warm it up. Let's warm up the shadow in a couple places too because it gets warmer in some places. All right, so what we're doing, we're just breaking up that one shape into all kinds of little subtle breakdowns, little shapes in there. Now, when we throw the white in there, I think from the building, you'll see that it really looks like a shadow. So let's take the initial color and put a lot of yellow in it. Paint right up to it very simply. Don't drag this purple into this white. Just come right up and kind of close it up a little bit. Stay out of the paint. If you get, if you get some blue paint on there, stop and wipe your brush like I just did because I got a little bit of blue on there. Don't want to drag this blue paint into that. I'm getting as close as I can without touching it. Another good reason to have the, the canvas toned orange. All right. So as you can see, that looks like a looks like a wall in light. Now you can do the same thing with that. Put a little orange in it. Make some of it just a little more orange than yellow, and it'll look like sunlight on the building. That's got just a little bit of orange in it. This one will have just a little bit of pink in it. See that little tiny bit of pink? That's what the Impressionist did. All right, now, let's go in there and make a few dapples, okay? Let's change that a little bit. Let's put a few dapples out to the sign and break the edges a little bit. And what I do is I'm just riding in that, in that wet paint, causing a real soft edge. See how I'm riding in that paint right there? I'm just riding along the edge and softening it up and breaking it and giving it a little more variety like it's leaves, like it's not a cut out shape. All right, so I just softened all those edges, make a few out here, a few down there like that, take a few of the, of the lights and make a few dapples inside of the shape and break the line a little bit. And this has an appearance of dappled light. Just softening edges and having variety inside of these things. Then if I had the roof on there in the sky, it would look like a dappled shadow. Now that's all I can do in a short amount of time, but I hope that helps you make better dappled shadows. If you'd like to see more about me or my paintings, go to mikerooneystudios.blogspot.com.